Hey everybody out there in bike land, this is Paul. We're going to talk about our new boxcar stem. This is how it arrives. It comes in a fancy box that we hand stamp. It's an artisan rubber stamp right there, folks. Wrap it up. We'll unwrap it. Here we have a 70 millimeter silver by 15 degree rise. Why 15? We just thought that was a good number. This is a 70. We make a 50, a 70, and a 90. Uh, the 70 and the 90s come in a 0 or a 15. The shorty is a 50 is a, is a 0. So now we're going to talk about how to install this on your bike. So the first thing you want to do, we've got our handlebars off. We have got our bear steer tube, fork, the wheel, you probably can't see it, but the wheel is actually in the fork and it is not falling out of the frame. Do not attempt this at home without a strap. Hope people, we have a toe strap hanging, holding the front tire to the, to the down tube. Um, and uh, I'm going to take a file. Now this is on a steel steer tube, on a carbon steer tube, you're going to have to get in touch with the fork manufacturer. File might be okay, just want to put a, put a little bit of a bevel on there. A lot of times when these get cut, they'll flare out just a little bit. So we do that. And always, whenever there's metal on metal, put a little grease on there. That will Calm the squeaking down. Now I've got a stem here. This is the stem that I've been riding on this bike. Uh, it's not the brand new silver one that I showed you earlier. Now all the screws are a Torx T25 head. It's called pan head screw. We like Torx. Sharan is going to use a lot of Torx, a lot of this T25. I kind of feel like every screw on a bike should be a T25, but you know, that's, that's uh, neither here nor there right now. So we've got that beveled. We're going to place this on here. And we take a little bit of this, and boom, down it goes. Squish down some grease there. Rucks. Put the uh, cap back on. I always leave my steer tube a little bit long. Now one thing with our stems is this hole does not go all the way through. That greatly enhances the stiffness of the stem and the strength. Also it's less sharp edges on what could be clamping on a carbon steer tube and we just feel like the less sharp edges on a carbon steel st steer tube the better. So I've got the stem on, I've got my top cap on, I'm just going to do that hand tight. Just barely, and then I'm going to tighten these up hand tight, and I'm kind of eyeballing it, getting it lined up here. We've got our four screws on our face plate, right here. Grease those. Good idea to grease this. Mm. Pull up the handlebar. Put it on like this. This might be a little easier with the screws out. I think you get the idea. One screw at a time. Also, if you're a smart aleck, you can turn the faceplate upside over. That's real funny and cute, and actually I do it all the time. Just to be a weirdo. And we'll get these hand tight. You want to keep your gap on the top and the bottom the same. The gap in, in the stem here, between the stem and the faceplate. You want to get those handlebars centered, of course. Eyeball the, the angle. Tighten that up. Just a couple things about the stem. Uh, I mentioned before 
hole doesn't go through, the center hole doesn't go all the way through to the steer tube. And in our testing in-house, we have found that this stem is stiffer and stronger in, in the fatigue test than the competition. Uh, with comparable weight, just want to throw that in there. And what's uh, what's important now is that we torque these. And this is very important if you're using carbon handlebars. Now we we call for a four newton meter torque here. We've got our where's the window? We've got our torque wrench set to four. We've got our gap on the top and the bottom fairly even. Go around. Taking these one at a time. That one's good. There's the click. There's a click. There's a click. And then the back one we set to pull it down five. The the steer tube clamp. But these you want to just ease in on them. You don't have to go all the way right off the bat. There's one. There's the other. And it's all that simple, folks. Now, of course, once we get it off the stand, we're going to want to make sure our alignment's all right. And uh, then we're going to want to go for a ride. So like I mentioned before, we make a 50, a 70, and a 90. Those are the three sizes we started out at. We can't make every size in the universe. We just don't have the machine capacity. But we will be, over the next year, adding more sizes. If you have a favorite size, please let us know uh, in the comments section of this, uh, of this uh, video. We'd appreciate that. We're taking a, taking a little bit of a poll. Have a great ride.